It is a lovely day, but it's better inside the polytunnel, I think. It's, um, it's, it's wild outside. But Wildbrook is, um, is I guess, a partnership project between Oldham Council and Environmental Services and um, CIC, Social Enterprise Local Food First, which is who I represent. Um, and it's really, to, we sort of took on this site, which was an abandoned uh, community allotment for seven, eight years, um, and it was pretty much derelict, and um, these polytunnels were were all heavily vandalised um, to, to really to bring back to life the local community but also uh, for food growing purposes which as you can see here we've got plenty of um, tomatoes growing so we grow a lot of food which goes um, in a donation to Oldham Food Bank. So I think just the, the sort of the, the back to being outdoors sort of out, out, in, out in nature green space it's incredibly important for people and especially in you know in an urban area in in a housing estate like this, which there is green space, but this is, I think, we, we feel, you know, we, we've tried to develop the sort of nature side of this, so we're putting in a wildlife pond. Um, we have all the the, um, the orchard. We've done courses this year on pruning and, and workshops on scything as well. So we've, we've, we've made wildflower meadows. So I think we're trying to sort of enhance the sort of the, the, sort of the natural side of it and the, the sort of natural beauty. So, uh, so Uplift was a project that we got involved with through Action Together and um, and OPAN, and um, we started the we started the program in October, which wasn't a great time for us because of the onset of winter. But actually, we, we sort of thought about ways we could we could attract people to come and, and volunteer here. We were really just wanting people to come and find out about the lot. Mm -hmm. Volunteering is very important um, to a project like this. Uh, in fact, we completely rely rely on volunteers, so it's a, it's a great opportunity to. Get involved in food growing. The, the cause is great. We're growing food for local local communities in Oldham for the food bank. It's quite interesting because we, we had quite a range of different people who sort of dropped in and out, which was which was actually good because a few of them came um, when they were just sort of between between jobs or looking for something to do, mm -hmm. and um, two or three of them actually then didn't come back because they got jobs so that was that was fantastic um, and that was really one of the I think one of, one of the sort of proofs of the, proofs of the, of the, of the, of the whole program um, and I think as well just in terms of you know, some of the some of the feedback we got from, from guys we had um, a Nigerian chap who came who was, um, he always turned up and he, he always put on his feedback that he was freezing and fed up when he got here and when he left he said I feel ecstatic one day oh, so and that, and that was great and he only came back five or six times and then he, he, he's, a, he's a really good worker really helped us out and um, we gave him a reference and, and he's working now and we don't see him so uh, that was uh, that was a really good a re a really good positive result but I think I mean, food security, food is a fundamental for people. You, you, know, you have to eat, and, uh, and, and in terms of poverty, uh, if you don't have good, good quality food or affordable food or access to, to, to food, it, it's a real issue for, for for people of all ages, families. It's a, it's a cause of worry and anxiety to, to parents of their children that are hungry. So, so it's a re really important area to, to focus on. Uh, food growing is, is great, but you, we can't always grow all the food. We need from on an allotment project, but it shows um, skills to, to people. Perhaps someone can do a little bit of growing at home, or grow some some, some herbs, which might just just help with their sort of with their diet and nutrition, or perhaps just to help build confidence to cook as well, which is a really, really important element of, uh, of, of people sort of getting sort of good quality food. I think, I think in terms of food security and uh, for OPAN, the idea of collaborative working, networking or working within a network of groups, I think it's always that, that element of people stronger together, so uh, often people working on food projects trying to, trying to improve access to food often work 
in very sort of ind individual pockets and um, don't don't share information or don't even share sort of you know, the good stuff that they do. And often you can learn learn immensely from from just going to see what other people are doing and, and good work elsewhere. And it's really really important. And in Oldham, there's a lot of people that actually qualify for it. They don't actually they don't actually um, sort of take it up for various reasons sometimes because they just don't know about it. Yeah. So I think working together, working between different parts partners, different organisations, different elements of the system, sort of collaborative working with the NHS, mm -hmm. uh, within the voluntary sector, really, really important.